welcome from Horizon Weekly. Today, I'm joined by the Honorable Minister Mary Inc., who is Minister for Small Business and Export Promotion, to talk about how the government is supporting small businesses while Canada is fighting COVID-19. Madam Minister, thank you for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure to have you with us today. Well, it's really, really great to spend the time with you as well, and I'm looking forward to our conversation. Madam Minister, unfortunately, the pandemic has affected so many businesses and they are really struggling to stay afloat during this time. So as you are the Minister for Small Businesses, can you tell us about how you are supporting small businesses in response to COVID-19? Yes, absolutely. Small businesses are just so important to all of our communities, and it has been very difficult for our Canadian businesses during this time. And throughout uh, the pandemic, we have been talking to businesses before the pandemic and certainly during the pandemic to make sure that the government is providing the right supports to help them during this time. And we essentially heard from businesses that they're gonna need some help to make sure that they retain their employees. We know that when employers are able to keep their employees, even when their businesses are shut down or significantly scaled back, that they're in a much better position that, you know, for recovery when it's safe to do so. We also heard from businesses how important it is to help with some of those operating expenses. Businesses have bills to pay every, you know, every month. And during this time, uh, we wanted to make sure that, uh, that they were supported. So we introduced a $40,000 interest-free loan where $10,000 of that is forgivable if you're able to pay it back by the end of 2022. So in two and a half years from now, over actually over half a million businesses. So about 580,000 businesses already have received a loan under this program. So it's really helping businesses manage those costs during this time. And then it's actually helping businesses keep their costs low. So right from the get-go, we defer GST, HST, customs duties payments. That's going to help over 3 million businesses and, you know, and a range of other measures. Oh, I guess I should also mention commercial rent support. I heard loud and clear from businesses that one of the significant expenses that they have to pay is commercial rent. So we introduced the emergency commercial rent uh, support, which is helping small businesses pay 75% of their rent uh, through uh, a program that their, that their landlord will, uh, will, will sign up to. As you mentioned, the government is doing like tremendous effort to, to offer help, but uh, the economy is really suffering during and probably will suffer after the pandemic is over. From your point of view, what does Canada's economy and small businesses look like after coming out of this? Well, certainly during this time, what we're very focused on is making sure that our businesses are supported. The goal here is to save as many businesses and jobs in our country because of how important our small businesses are to the Canadian economy. We want to make sure that, um, that we have as many businesses who can be ready for that recovery and that restart when it's ready. And, uh, and we're going to continue to work together. We had a strong economy going into COVID-19. We have one of the fastest uh, job growth rates, lowest unemployment, and the supports which you're seeing in these extraordinary times are significant. And it, the reason they're significant is, is to help Canadians through COVID-19 and help our businesses weather through this difficult period. Like, do you think these small businesses are more vulnerable compared to other businesses? What do you think about it? Well, the reason that uh, we wanted to make sure that businesses had the support, so whether it's the loan support or for those sole, uh, sole proprietors or uh, uh, sole proprietors or self-employed individuals who, you know, who also need support getting access to the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, to which we're seeing millions of people uh, get access to that support and that help. Um, it's to make sure that Canadians can do what we're asking Canadians, you know, to have done over the last, uh, you know, many weeks. We have been asked to do some extraordinary things by our health officials to flatten the curve in this country, and we've made progress. And we've done that together as Canadians, as all Canadians. So these measures were really important to make sure that Canadians could have the support. You don't want people to not be able to stay at home if they're worried about how to put food on their table or if they had a roof, if they needed a roof over their head. So making sure that Canadians are supported is absolutely job one. And making sure that Canadians stay safe is part of that job. And I think that we have done a terrific job as Team Canada.
And that's taken all of us to do this. So in reopening the economy, we're going to have to be very careful. We're going to have to stay very coordinated. And we're going to have to make sure that we don't lose any of that progress that we have already made. Uh, and we've been following you, and we know that you've been engaging with numerous communities in response to COVID-19. Can you tell us about your engagement with the Armenian community? Yes, absolutely. You know, I want to um, take this opportunity to thank the Armenian community for the extraordinary leadership. And uh, just a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was about three weeks ago, I met with the Armenian community. We weren't able to do it, uh, you know, of course, in person as we normally do. And of course, in my own riding, um, as the member of parliament for Markham Thornhill, I have a very diverse community. And of course, I have extraordinary Armenian Canadians who also live in my riding. So through the Armenian Centre of uh, Toronto and, um, and, um, and the national, the Iranian National Committee and their board members, we had a wonderful meeting, um, almost very, you know, sort of very early on. And, uh, and we talked about how extraordinary a time this is and how unprecedented it is and how we were all coming together to make sure that uh, Canadians or meaning Canadians were supported. And something that we did, which was really a first, and I really want to acknowledge the incredible work of the Armenian National Committee for doing this, and that is the commemoration. The commemoration of the Armenian genocide was done online. It's the first time we've done that because normally we get together to remember, and we couldn't do that this year. So I want to thank the, you know, I want to thank the National Committee for that leadership because it really, you know, it really, uh, it really allowed us to work together, and uh, and that uh, that that is an interaction. But the other thing I want to really recognize the Armenian Canadian uh, community for is the incredible leadership. I, um, you know, I'm very heartened to know that uh, that. You've set up the ACC COVID-19 uh, committee, and this is in response to Armenian Canadians who need support, who need to know where to get access to government help or assistance. It's to help newcomers. It's to help those who may not have the language skills. It's to help our seniors. It's to help our young people, but it's to help everyone in the community. And that is real incredible leadership. But the other thing I also want to... Um, I want to thank the community for your leadership is through the Armenian Relief Society. That's really extraordinary. What incredible Canadian leadership. The society has uh, has been making masks, thousands upon thousands of masks through incredible volunteer efforts. And these masks are not only going into the community, but they're going to help long term care facilities. They're going to help seniors. They're going to help people who need it in the community. So I want to thank the Armenian community for the leadership and for um, and for the heart. It's always the heart and the leadership. Uh, and it's always been my experience. It's been so lovely to be able to work with the leadership and indeed with everyone in the community. Uh, and during the time of COVID-19, to see the leadership, the community oriented and just extraordinary Canadian, um, you know, a Canadian uh, resilience that the Armenian Canadian community have displayed. So uh, that, uh, I'm sorry that that's a little long of an answer, but, um, but it's long because I wanted to, I want to acknowledge the contributions and the work that the Armenian Canadian community have been doing uh, through your community leadership. It's just so important and I want to say thank you. Thank you, Madam Minister. Thank you for your time and thank you for this interview. Hope all of us pass this time and talk about stuff past the pandemic, hopefully soon. Thank you so much and all the best. Thank you so much. Uh, stay safe uh, and be well uh, to everyone in the community. Thank you so much for having me.